Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.4, number 57. And for number 57, we're asked to find a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to just write it up here so that we can see it. We are asked to find f of g of f of negative 2. So there's a lot in there. So what I want to do is start with just f of negative 2. Let's just find the innermost parentheses. So if I go to f of negative 2, again, if I go all the way in here, this is always my x-coordinate that I'm starting with. So I have my x-coordinate at negative 2, and I'm on the function f, so I want to be over here at this graph. So if I go negative 1, negative 2 on the x-axis, and I scroll up, you see that ordered pair there, negative 2, 4. So what this is going to turn into is this will become f of g of 4. All right, so I want you to see instead of f of negative 2, I wrote 4. All right, but now what we want to do is we want to find g of 4. All right, so we're going to peel this away. Now, this is my new x-coordinate. Every time we run through a function, our input changes. So now I have an x-coordinate of 4, but I want to be on the g function over here. So I'm going to go out 1, 2, 3, 4 in the x direction, and you can see that ordered pair there of 2. So now I'm going to turn this into f of 2. All right, so g of 4 is now being written as 2. Okay, new x-coordinate. And I'm back on this function over here. So I'm going to go out 1, 2, or that's 0, 1, 2, excuse me, in my x-coordinate. And if I see that point there, that is 4. So f of 2 is 4, which is why you see this giant string over here. All right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.